the indigenous people of Biafra says Nigerian security operatives murdered the Eastern Security Network commander a consul in his sleep in his father's compound in Imo State on Saturday. The group refuted the claim by the Nigerian army, the police and the state security service that a consul was killed during a gun battle. It also disclosed that some killer headsmen that the security agencies could not confront were driven out of the state solely by the late Econso saying it was the reason why they convened with the Nigerian government to kill him. The pro Biafra group disclosed that this is a statement by its media and publicity secretary Ima Pafu on Tuesday. It made this disclosure while condemning the suspension and fining of channels television by the National Broadcasting Commission for granting an interview to the IPOB spokesman on Sunday night. It described the suspension of the station as an attempt by the Nigerian government to muzzle the media for disseminating the truth to the Nigerians and the international community. That Asu Rock viciously and wickedly turned against their long-time body, Channel Star Vision tells you all you need to know about Fulani Janja Witsin. It confirmed that you can't be friends with, the, with this bunch of hardened terrorists in power in Nigeria. Nigerian media initially failed to investigate and report the accurate information about the death of Commander Ekonso and those with him. Sections of the media only peddled lies and fake news dished out by the same security agencies that murdered Ekonso in his sleep. The bitter truth the Nigerian government did not want to hear is that IPOB disclosed at the said interview was that a consul was murdered in his father's house, not in any imaginary ESN camp or battlefield as the liar would hope to have us believe. The same army, police and DSS in Emo State that never for one day arrested or prosecuted any Fulani terror headman ravaging Imo State before the coming of Econso, the same Nigerian security agents that have always provided cover for terrorists and bandits, had the guts to ambush and kill the only man that drove Fulani terrorist headsmen out of Imo State, something Hope Uzodima, Ohaneze Indubo, and those a fully force that conspired to kill him was not able to do. Commander Consul and the men with him in his father's house were murdered by the Nigerian state with the help of APC, all progressive Congress, politicians, and Ohani Zeindubu leadership in Imo state. The worst part is that they lied about it. A part of the statement read, the Inamdi Kanu led group, however, reinstated that it was not formed to attack innocent lives but to go after terrorists disguising as Fulani headsmen in the southeast region, insisting that Governor of Imo State, Hope Uzodima, Ohaneze Indubo, President Professor George Indubo, and other chieftains of the APC in the state conspired to kill a consul for waging war against Fulani terrorists. The federal government of Nigeria knows they cannot suppress the truth as far as IPOP is concerned. We will always put the record straight because the fact will always speak for itself. We are not Meyati Allah and we do not kill or attack innocent individuals but Fulani terrorist headsmen masquerading as cattle headers in our bushes and forests. This was the mandate of ESN and the cause for 
which console a hero and gallant patriotic Biafran and his men were murdered in cold blood. Commander Ikonso was only defending the land of his ancestors. He was murdered with the active connivance of Hope Uzodima, George Obiozo, and APC politician in Imo State. They wanted to cover his atrocity. They wanted to cover this atrocity, pardon, but when Channel's television gave us the opportunity to tell the truth, the murderer in uniform and their masters in Asuro became offended. The action of NBC against Channel's television is only meant to gag and intimidate the press into total submission. It is part of the calculated attempt towards suppressing and suppressing the press and blocking the outside world access to atro atrocities being perpetrated against indigenous peoples of Nigeria. This is how the horridly and unjustifiable proscribe IPOB and tag it innocent members terrorists without according the movement the right of defense in a law court. Nigeria is a country where justice Hypocrisy and falsehood hold sway. The statement concluded. We have heard about the death of ESN commander a consul who was claimed killed in a gun battle, but now was told that he was killed in his father's compound with his men. What is your stand on this? Which one do we want to believe? The security agency said they killed him in a gun battle with them. And we are hearing again that he was killed in his father's compound while asleep. Well, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about what we have just heard. Luke Obiano said governments that employs terrorists and provide cover for headers suspended channels television but the aboku haram and miyati hala can make any kind of statement and go free including claiming ownership of the country and refusal to accept ban on open grazing we have heard what obiaino said that government employs terrorists and they also provide cover for headers. That is why they suspended Channel Television for telling the truth. What is your stand on this? What is your own reaction and point of view on what has been said? Which one do you go with? We would like to see your reaction and know your thoughts about what we have heard. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.